Hello, this is the review of the ST DuPont D-Link in black lacquer finish with a custom ring feature in the band. You can swap out the rings in the band uh, with other rings that are available on eBay that's specific to this model, but it just comes with that one that you see when you open the package up. Speaking of the package, let's get into the packaging the pen comes in. It comes in this cardboard box. You have the logo and the D logo on top, which I'm specific for the D link, I think. Then you open it up. You have the inlay where the pen lays in. You have the logo. And yeah, it's pretty elegant. Do you open the backup? That's where you have the warranty instructions and everything. Then you have six cartridges as well, which is nice. And it comes with a converter. As mentioned, this uh, black lacquer is silver trimmed and has a stiff clip with a logo on it. The ring is customizable, as mentioned. And one of the things I like the most about this is that it has a click mechanism to open and close the pen, just like my other SC2 font, which is D line I have, which is really fun to, to play around with. And I never had ink dry, my nibs drying up, so it's very effective as well. Yeah, the click mechanism is very satisfying. The nib is an 18 karat gold nib. It's a medium nib. You have plastic feed, and then you have a scurvy hood, which is specific to SC DuPont, as far as I know. And the nib section kind of flares out, and the reason why this is still comfortable for me is because it's still a bit, because of nib section, it's very comfortable for me, despite being a small pen. You can post this, but I would not recommend it because this is a black lacquer finish, so you can damage the lacquer. As mentioned, this is a cartridge converter. So this holds good enough ink. I prefer cartridge converters over other mechanisms, except for Pelican Mario 5 and Pelicans because it's easy clean, but yeah. This holds good enough ink. I don't care too much about ink capacity, but this is this is good enough ink. It comes with their own like converter, which is international. Now let's get into just comparisons. First, we have the Line D from the same brand. This is the Vitruvian Man. We have the Pelican Mario 5, you can see how smaller the pen is, and it's a little bit slimmer too. We have the Lamy Safari, which is not a small pen to begin with. Pilot Custom 823, which kind of dwarfs it at the... Let's try and line it up, but as you can see, it's a small pen. and. So we have Sailor 1911 Large. Then we have Miku Car Royale. I'll do a nib comparison between the Lama Safari and the D Link to show it's a small nib as well uh, to match the small body. Yeah, it is a, a very enjoyable nib though. It's a medium nib and it is so smooth. It is as smooth as Pelicans, in my opinion, if not smoother. Yeah, in the Fountain community, I don't think SC2Pong gets enough recognition. 
they're very overpriced, don't get me wrong, but their nerves are great. Since this pen is not ink yet, so I decided to show how to fill up this, which is, I mean, this is just a cartridge converter, but, uh, but yeah, this is a very cool pen. The one thing I don't like about this is that it is not a screw-on cartridge converter like the current Dodge and the Graphon Paper Castell because as you saw it's just like easily taken out which kind of worries me when I'm just like using the pen so I wish there was a screw-on converter that would have been great not a friction fit But yeah, this is a great pen. The there's a lot to like about this pen besides the price. Right now, it's just you can't find this retail as far as I'm aware because this is discontinued. But yeah, this is a great pen to write with. As mentioned, the click mechanism is very satisfying. That's one of the most best things I like about this pen. Now let's get into the writing sample, the most important aspect of the bound pen. As mentioned, this is a 18 karat gold nib coated with rhodium. It's a very smooth nib, but a rigid nib, just like the Pelican made of hundreds. Uh, which is, which is a good comparison because the M800 is a rigid nib, yet it's a smooth nib, just like in this case. This is a very smooth nib. This is a very wet pen as well. I found that most SC DuPonts are very wet as well. Like this is a medium nib, and my D-line, even though it's a medium nib, feels like a broad nib because of how wet it is. But yeah, the nib is very smooth despite being very rigid. If you like the 800 feel of the nib, then you should definitely love this nib. There is not that much line variation because of how rigid the nib is. And yeah, it is definitely on the wider side. Now let's get into the final conclusions about this pen on what I like and what I don't like. So yeah, I like the lack of finish and the silver trim, the smooth nib, and yeah, one of the things I don't like is it's small and slim, which recently I've been getting rid of pens that are slimmer and like small because I I like the bigger sizes now. So that can be a problem for people, but if you like, if you have small hands, if you like smaller pens, this is a great choice. And one of the cons is that it's, a, it's not available retail anymore, so it's hard to find and it's expensive. It's, I saw some resellers selling for like 400 or something. And I bought this brand new, like secondhand for around $100, which I think is a great price. If you can find it at that price, I think this is very worth it. It's made of lacquer and everything, but keep in mind the size. But yeah, this is a great pen. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.